$77,000. This is how much money my Shopify store made last week only using TikTok ads. And in this video, I'm not only going to be revealing my winning product in store, but I'll also be showing you my exact TikTok ad strategy that we're currently using to scale this store. Let's get started. The product we're going to be selling is this Turbo Grip Hand Gripper. You put it on your fingers and it's supposed to strengthen your forearm and make you more vascular overall. Now this competitor, Turbo Grip, they have done $46,000 within the last 30 days. And if we scroll down, you can see all of the revenue is coming from this Turbo Grip product. Now there's a few other competitors for this product, one of them being the official Gripster. They have 1.9 million views on TikTok. And if we check their store out, they have done about 30K within the last month. And again, all of the revenue is coming from this Gripster product. And if you're wondering how accurate Dropship IO is, here's the screenshot I always show. On one side, we have the Shopify store. On the other, we have the Dropship IO. It is pretty damn good. So since we have two stores selling the same product, I decided to pull it up on AliExpress just to get a feel for how expensive this product was. And one unit costs $4, but there's also a shipping fee. In total though, it's only about $6.50 to actually send one of these out. So I went ahead and added it to my Shopify store. Now yesterday, we spent $50 on our TikTok ads. Now we ended up getting suspended and our account is penalized. So I had to get a fresh ad account made just for this video. That $50 though brought us in five orders, which equated to $143 in store revenue. We ended up spending $84 in expenses. So that includes spending our $50 on ads and then also sending the order out to the customer. And that left us with $58 in net profit at 41% margins. Now, if my TikTok account wasn't suspended, we would be scaling this product today. However, I used the downtime while we got suspended to to actually reformat the website to hopefully increase our conversion rate. Remember, this was what our original website looked like. I'll just scroll down just to give you an idea of how the first product page looked. And then we decided to relaunch it and hopefully improve our conversion rate. I'm just gonna scroll down a bit. This GIF looks big on desktop, but remember, most of our traffic is coming from mobile view. We have some icons. Overall, it just looks a little bit more branded and usually when I use these custom stores, my conversion rate is generally higher and I get more sales. And if you're wondering how you can get one of these product pages for yourself, it's literally just a template in PageFly. So look, you come here and then you import any product and just like that, it auto populates. So you can adjust like the logo, the colors, what these icons are and fill the text in. Um, but it's literally that easy. So again, this page is just the template. Now, I would send you the download file to this template. However, I actually bought it for $150 back in November. So I've been using this for the last three months. It's been super helpful, especially when it comes to running TikTok ads. So if you would like to cop it for yourself and actually import it to your store to take advantage of it, I will have the link in my description and in the pinned comment below. So feel free, purchase, links below, import it to your page fly, get it on your Shopify store and start running some ads. So with that being said, we can create the scaling campaign. I just wanted to show you everything leading up to this point. So we're on our fresh TikTok ad account. Let's hit create. So let's go to the custom mode. I'm hoping we can run this ad for at least a few days before it gets taken down. Hand gripper, CBO, scale, campaign budget, optimization. We're gonna turn that on. Now for the budget, this is where scaling gets fun. The testing campaign was a $50 budget. The scaling campaign is just gonna be $1,000. Now, if you've never done this before, it's gonna look intimidating like bro, a thousand bucks but i'm telling you the more you do it the more confident you get in the strategy and again we had 40 percent margins day one and there's two competitors each doing over 30k this month alone for the name we'll just call this open one 
I like to create new pixels for every product that I test. And we want to select complete payment because again, we're going for sales. For placements, we want to go to TikTok only. We want to turn ACO on automated creative optimization. This is going to come in handy once we go on over to the next step. For the location, United States only. Gender, we're going to leave this as all. And age, we're going to do 18 plus. Scrolling down, we're not going to be using any interest. We can keep scrolling. For the time, we're going to let this go live tomorrow at midnight, just like that. For day parting, I don't normally touch this until I get some more data. A good day part strat is 8 a.m. to midnight, but again, I typically just leave it set to all day. A lot of times I get sales overnight, so day parting is good, but it, it's not necessary by any means. From here, get your profile picture and your name typed out. Then we can scroll down and actually upload our ads. So these right here were the five ads that I used during my testing campaign. We're just gonna take the same five ads and drag them into TikTok. This is why we have the ACO on. The ACO lets us have multiple videos and multiple lines of text all underneath a single ad group. Okay, so here we have all of our text. Get yours 50% off this week only. Limited stock available. Guarantees to build strength, get stronger, and get yours on sale. Next, we need the website URL. Just paste that in there and always double check that your link works the last thing you want is a broken link then come down to your call to action we're going to go to standard and instead of learn more put shop now and now we can submit ad number one however we're not done yet there's a few small tweaks we need to make and then we'll be all set okay so our ad account isn't approved yet but no issues so once your campaign is scheduled, we're just going to want to click on that. And now we want to create four more duplicates of our existing ad group. So in total, we're going to have five exact copies of this current ad group. For the names, you can leave all of these as default. The only thing you're going to have to change in here is the time scheduled. Whenever you're duplicating an ad, it always resets. So boom, we'll put that for midnight tomorrow. Then we can hit next. Our ads should be all set set from the previous ad group. Now we can hit submit and this campaign is good to go. The four additional ad groups are all good. So let's hit okay. And now you can see we have our five ad groups within this campaign. Remember, we're spending $1,000 on ads tomorrow. So I'm gonna let this campaign run for a full 24 hours. And then I'm gonna check back in with you guys. We are back. It has officially been 24 hours. Yesterday, we spent the full $1,000 on ads. And in return, we ended up getting 80 orders on our store. So in just a moment, I'll be revealing how much revenue we made and how much net profit we actually got at the end of the day. But real quick, I just want to plug my Discord, the Ecom Mafia. It's free to join. I'll have the link in my pinned comment and in my description below. So if you're looking to learn some more about e-commerce and make some new friends in the community i highly suggest you join the link is down below and if you want to upgrade to premium mafia for only 35 dollars you get access to a full 70 video drop shipping course inside i cover my exact tiktok strategies for both organic and ads there's over 70 videos in here and again only 35 dollars to join so if you're looking to join the discord again link down below returning back to our true profit yesterday we ended up doing 2500 in store revenue remember we spent one thousand dollars on ads so our total cost for the day was seventeen hundred dollars between running ads which was one thousand dollars and shipping all of the orders out to the customers we ended up spending seventeen hundred dollars in expenses leaving us with a total net profit of eight hundred dollars functioning at 31.92 percent profit margins this was an extremely successful day and i'm very very happy with how it went going on over to the tiktok ad manager i just want to show you guys some of the data so again in total we spent a full one thousand dollars and in return we made back twenty five 
500. Take a look at my cost per click on all of these ad groups and compare that with my CPMs and CTR. That way, if you have a product with similar metrics in the future, you could be like, wait a second, Anthony had a winner and these were his metrics. Maybe my product's a winner and you can connect the dots because generally most of my winners have metrics like this. So if you're testing a product and you notice your CPCs, CPMs and your CTR matches what mine are, then you may be onto something good and you could have a winning product on your hands. The plan going forward is to increase the budget on this campaign from a thousand dollars daily all the way up to two thousand dollars daily once we're profitable there we're gonna go up to three thousand dollars daily and we're just gonna keep repeating this process day by day until we reach a point to where we're no longer profitable now that concludes it for today's scaling video if you want me to do more videos like this in the future please just let me know down in the comments section below i'll be sure to upload whatever videos are the most requested and one more reminder make Make sure you join the Ecom Mafia Discord. Again, it's free to join and we do have the premium course available for $35 if you are interested. Now that's a wrap for today's video. On the screen now are two videos you may enjoy. This has been your boy Anthony and peace out.